So who is awake? Hmm? Anybody awake right now? Well, it doesn't matter. I got too excited, so I had to do this right now, even though I don't, even though it's night. Um, there is a there's an NCBD course on line right now, and I had to give it a review. So I'm going to do that now. Um, let me share my screen. Share screen. Uh, window. Oh, Chrome tab. Yeah. Sure. All right. This is the course. Let me. Yeah, that's better. This is the course, the Incivity course. It teaches Incivity. People have been asking me, asking me, asking me for years. <laughs> like, it's literally been years now because I started doing all this Evo stuff in 2017. So it's been like years. And people have been asking me, when will there be an Incivity course? When will there be an Incivity course? Well, now somebody has created an Incivity course. Um, his name is Eze, um, and he created this Incivity course, and it's on the Ngawuhu platform. So I'm going to basically do a, do some of the, uh, kind of just demonstrate it for you, like do some of the coursework live, and let's see how it goes. I don't know how it's going to go, so let's try it out. All right. So it says Incivity Radical Course 1, an introductory course to the Incivity character system. Course description, our beautiful learners will learn the first 10 radicals within the Incivity character system using emojis. All right, let's give it a go. Continue learning. See how it, see how it looks. Um, it's loading. It's loading. Oh, there's a video. What is the ideographic system? An introduction to Incivity characters. Complete the following video. A brief description of what ideographic system is in the modern use today. Okay. I feel like I know what this is going to say. It's just going to say it's like Chinese, basically. Let's play it. An ideograph ram or ideograph is a graphic symbol that it's going so fast. It's not even like, is it reading it or am I just not getting the sound? Is my computer just not giving me sound right now? Uh, I think it's not giving me sound. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm broadcasting. Oh, and Civity has been modernized by Chia de Gobi Walbani in hopes of revamping the ancient writing system of the people of southern Nigeria. Okay, well, it went so fast. Maybe I should just press pause and go slow so I can just read it. What is an ideographic system? An ideogram or ideograph is a graphic symbol that represents an idea or concept independent of any characters, language, and specific words or phrases. Ancient examples of this include Incivity, Chinese, Sumer Sumerian, and the hier hieroglyphics. Oops, let's move this across. Modern examples of ideograph systems include emojis and traffic signs. Okay. All right, well, that should be it. Next lesson.
a short quiz on Idiot Girl. They're already quizzing me. <laughs> um, you'll now answer a very short quiz on what ideographic system, systems are. Okay. Question one, what is an ideographic system? Is an alien, an ancient alien system, a graphic symbol that represents an ideal concept? That should be it. But let's read the rest of them. Is a syllable-based system is an alphabet? It's this one, a graphic symbol. Submit. Oh, look at that. It has a little nice ring to it. That's cute. Your answer is correct. Next. Congratulations, you have completed this quiz. Oh, that was that was easy. Back to course. An introductory course. Okay, wait. Did I continue learning? Did I finish? Oh no, there's more. Okay. I was to say that was so fast. Okay, let's look at this one. The radical for person or human. So they have a picture of a person. I feel like there are words being said, but I am not hearing them. They have a stick like a person that says madu. So they're kind of showing you that this is madu. Okay, so this is this this is the this is a symbol for person. This is pretty cool. All right, which is the which is the following translation for this character? Madu. Got it right. Your answer is correct. Next. Which is the following character for human person? Ooh, your answer is correct. Next. Which two radicals make this character? Did I click submit? Not quite. Didn't I click these two? Yeah. Model means person, human, and Igbo. Okay. Using the radical choices below, construct the following character. It's a little repetitive, but I can understand why. It's so that you can learn it very, very well. Match the following character with its radicals. I'm confused. This is a confusing question. Is it these two or this one? This one looks like this one. I'm scared that that might be wrong. Oh, wow. Well. Congratulations, you've completed the quiz. Click next lesson to continue the journey. Okay, I'm not gonna do any more because I want, I think it's important for people to, um, I'm not going to do any more because I think it's important for people to, I don't want to like, you know, reveal the whole thing for you uh, on behalf of the people who worked really hard to make that. So I highly recommend you go and play the game or, you know, um, 
take the take the course yourself. Um, what else? Yeah, take the course yourself, and yeah, uh, I highly recommend that you take the course. It looks like a lot of it's 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 fun. It's very well done. The images are really good. Um, this is my review part. <laughs> the images are really good. Um, it's really it's broken down in such a way that you know you are learning it step by step, and you know I think it's really good. So I would highly recommend it for anybody who's interested in learning um, in CBD. It's from what I can tell, the only insibity course that's out there right now to use and learn. So yeah, go out there and, and take the course and see if you like it. Um, this is Amachi once again signing off. Peace, guys. I'm going to head out. I'm going to go to sleep. It's, it's nighttime. It's late. I just thought I'd make this quick video. Good night.